watch two investigates is looking into a new law on the books that's aimed at helping some of our most vulnerable. The law shines a light on the often secret world of guardianship here in Florida and exposes professional guardians to a little bit more scrutiny when they are entrusted with caring for incapacitated, often elderly people. West 2's investigative reporter Greg Fox has been following this story for us for three years. He joins us this evening with details on the changes under this new law. Vulnerable people. I mean, these are our, our most vulnerable people in society. Are Kim Stryker is the daughter of Stephen Stryker, a Central Florida man who died in 2019 while under the legal control of then professional guardian Rebecca Furley. She signed a do not resuscitate order for the man while he was hospitalized, even though Stryker, his daughter, and healthcare surrogate did not want it in place. She's charged with aggravated abuse and neglect in Stryker's death and facing trial in September. Follow-up investigations by state clerks and controllers generated reports on Furley and other professional guardians, alleging they took advantage of their wards, mostly elderly people, to drain their bank accounts and benefit financially from hospitals and care arrangements not reported to the courts. Now Republican Governor Ron DeSantis has signed into law a guardianship bill aimed at providing more transparency when it comes to tracking guardians and the court-appointed people who depend on them for care. It needs to work. <laughs> it needs to uh, be followed through on, but I'm really hopeful um, that they're moving in the right direction that can help the system that was clearly very broken. The new guardian law will create a guardianship database that will track guardian cases and discipline histories. It requires regular reports to the governor and legislature. It'll provide confidential information accessible by judges and court personnel, but also create a public website to access information. It'll be searchable by guardian and ward names. The law resulted from public hearings by the Court Clerks and Controllers Association that generated emotional pleas from family members for help. My mother has been trapped in guardianship for four years. I'm a victim. That's why it was our top priority. Pinellas County Clerk Ken Burke led the task force that fought for the new law. He says lawmakers were persuaded to make immediate changes based on news reports from West 2 Investigates and other organizations that exposed flaws in oversight of guardian cases. And I think it's going to help protect the wards. These are the people under guardianship. They're the most vulnerable people, and that's what this should all be about, helping them. Under the new guardian law, the database is supposed to be up and running and ready for access by next July. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.